Natasha was a young but a very angry girl. She loses her temper at very small things. Whenever Natasha was angry, she behaved very badly to everybody. She used bad language and did not think before she spoke. Her mother kept asking her to try to control your anger, but this made her angry one day at home. Natasha? Natasha, where are you? Yes, why are you calling me, Mom? It is time for your breakfast. Oh, okay. Oh, the same Italy. I hate this. I don't want. Give me a burger. No, no, my dear child. You know, these burgers are junk food. They can damage your health. It is nutritious and good for your health. But I don't like it. Natasha gets angry. She goes and takes a packet of fingertips and sits to watch movie. Natasha, don't eat junk food and also don't watch movie for a long time. It is bad for your eyes and health. And see, I am going to church. Are you coming? No, I have a lot of work. Can you go along? Nadasha, dear, can you come with me? No, I won't come. Nadasha, please go with her. No, I won't go. Don't worry and see, I will manage. Grandma goes to church. Nadasha goes on watching movie continuously. How long have you been watching movie? Go out and play. She throws her fingertip packet to sofa and goes out to the playground. On the way, she sees her grandma coming from church. Oh, Natasha, can you please help me to cross the road? No, I can't. Thank you, my son. Welcome, Grandma. At the playground. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Ryan, what happened? Why are you late? Natasha, what have you done? You know, your grandma was struggling to cross the road. Oh, I don't care. No, Natasha, don't say like that. Your grandmother is too old and you should respect her. Leave it. Let's play. While playing, Rayan accidentally stepped on Natasha's feet. Ah! Oh, sorry. Sorry? What sorry? My leg is paining. Don't you know that? Leave it, Natasha. Control your anchor. Come, let's go home. Natasha, what happened? Oh, nothing much, Auntie. Natasha always loses her chapa while playing. She is not able to control her anchor. Natasha, take rest. Auntie, bye. I don't know what to do with this girl. She doesn't have any self-control. Yes, you must advise her. Mom, my stomach is paining. I feel like vomiting. And see, tell her to hospital immediately. Natasha's mother takes her to hospital. Next, Natasha.
What happened, my dear child? She is having severe stomachache. What did you have for breakfast? She always takes junk food. Okay, let me check. One week passed. Natasha became better. She understood that junk food is bad. Sorry, Grandma, for everything I have done. It's okay, my dear child. Natasha, do you have stomach ache now? No, Mom. Now what, what? I will not take junk food. But why do you look sad? Mom, I am worried about my studies. I was absent for one week. What about my notes and homework? My exam will start soon. Natasha, look, all are coming. Come children, please come. Hi Natasha, how are you? Are you okay? Hi, I am okay, but I am worried about my studies. Natasha, we got the exam timetable. It starts next week. Oh my God, what Don't. should I do now? Don't worry, Natasha. We have come to help you. Don't worry about the knots. Ryan will write the knots for you and we all will come out now free times and teach you. Oh, it's so nice of you. I am lucky to have friends like you. I always got angry with you and never had any self-control. Sorry friends, especially Ryan. I hurt you badly. Forgive me, Ryan. Don't say like that, Natasha. We all love you. We will tell you some tips to control your anger. Count 1 to 10 when you get angry. Punch a pillow when you are angry. Regular meditation will help you to control anger. Pray for the person whom you are angry with. Thank you friends for your valuable tips. I will talk to these and control my anger. Thank you children. You have changed my daughter. You did what I couldn't do. Now she will be your best friend. Okay. Bye Angie. Bye Natasha. All the very best for your examinations.